Hi everybody, it's Karen here from toughenscolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today. Now I've been wanting to make a card uh, of this style for quite some time. Um, it's called either Floating Letters or the Eclipse Technique. Um, and I first saw it uh, when Jennifer Maguire demonstrated it. And ever since then I have thought, you know, you know, I'd like to make a card. Uh, like that, I think that's really clever, and I think a lot of other people have also seen the the, uh, the same video that I have, um, because there are a lot of cards of this kind around at the moment. So I thought I would combine it with one of my favourite techniques, which is the Versamark resist technique, uh, and this is the result. And stay with me, and I'll show you how it all went together. These are the things that I'm using today. My card base is a piece of crumb cake, which I've cut to uh, five and three quarter inches by eight inches, scored and folded it at eight inches to make a, a horizontal tent fold card like that. And uh, I've also used some scraps of, uh, of crumb cake as well to cut my letters out of. Uh, I'm using Versamark ink and the Falling Flowers stamps. I'm going to be stamping onto a piece of the glossy white cardstock and I've cut this to three and three quarters by five and a half inches. Uh, I'm using my classic stamping inks in Pink Pirouette, Soft Sky and Sweet Sugar Plum. And I'm going to be using four of the dies from the large letters, uh, L-O-V-E, to spell out the word love. I'm going to use the Versamark Resist technique on the front of this card. So I have my piece of glossy white card, uh, all cut to size already, and I'm going to ink up my stamp with the Versamark here. And I'm just going to put that nice big scro scrolly stamp right across the middle of the card. And I'm going to give it a good press. And plenty of time for the ink to transfer and I'm going to have a look at it I'm not sure whether or not I don't know if you can see but I can see in real life that it has stamped up very nicely so now I'm going to oops make sure that that stamp is firmly stuck onto my block ink it up and I'm trying to avoid the bits where I've already stamped. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. And maybe some down in the corner here. And here. All right, now I'm going to set that on one side for about 20 minutes, half an hour or so for the ink to set up before I move on to the next step. I want to make sure that my large letter dies are cut in the right place and are lined up properly. Uh, so to do that, I've got them on my table in the order that I want them and I've got them face down and I've got a ruler and I'm going to line my letters up against the ruler. Just like that. So I'm going to have them just touching because it's the inner edge that they cut on. Okay, so when I'm happy with the arrangement, and I think I am now, I take a piece of masking tape, or sometimes known as painter's tape, and I'm just going to stick those letters together. And I'm gonna use a couple of pieces of tape because I don't want this arrangement moving anywhere until I am ready for it to move. I've trimmed the masking tape around my letters so that uh, I can better see where I'm putting them. I've got my, uh, my piece of Versamarked up card and I'm just going to align that onto the card where I want it. And I'm going to run over to the big shot and I'm going to cut those letters out. I'm back and my letters are nicely die cut out. Now before I move on, there's a couple of things I want to say. 
Uh, one is that before I ran those dies through my big shot, I did give the tape a thorough detacking. I put my hands all over it, um, I pressed it against my clothes uh, to make it less tacky. Um, and when it came out, it was still very, very stuck to the card, all right? Um, so to be gentle, removing it, okay? If that happens to you, you do what I did and you get your heat gun and you just very gently warm up the back of the card. And just do it a little bit at a time and uh, you will find that the, the adhesive will let go and you will be able to pull it off the card without actually damaging it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my inking. Um, I've put the centre of the uh, O in love back in place and I'm holding it with my, my masking tape. I've lined up my other letters onto a piece of masking tape to keep them where I want them for a bit later on. And I'm going to start off by doing my uh, inking. And I'm going to start with a bit of soft sky. Now this is where I find out whether or not it's worked. So I'm going to start on my inking mat and I'm just going to move the colour just very lightly onto my card here. Okay. Now I'm going to change to the pink pirouette. And when you first do this, you're going to think, oh, it hasn't worked, I've made a mess of it. But just keep working because it takes a few seconds for that colour to develop. And actually, I'm just wondering whether this may be too pale. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a try anyway, yeah? We'll give it the old college try. And can you see those colours now? starting to develop. It's very subtle. It's very pretty. Okay, so let's finish off with some sweet sugar plum. Okay, so that's my main card piece. So now I'm going to do my letters and I'm going to do these in the opposite orientation. So I'm going to put my uh, sweet sugar plum at the top of my letters. I'm being quite careful about this because even though they're stuck down, they will still move around a bit tiny bit of uh, pink pirouette in the middle and it, although you can hardly see it, it does help that transition between my colours. It just helps things to blend together a little bit. Okay. And finally, the soft sky. Oops, that was nearly something I didn't want to have happen. working it. Now while I was over at the big shot I also cut my letters out um, I think it was about four times each out of crumb cake card and I've uh, glued them together layered them up with uh, my liquid adhesive and now I'm just going to carefully put my coloured letters 
on top. So now I have to put it all together. do but most of the time was waiting for adhesives to dry and things like that um, actually putting it all together was quite straightforward uh, and I really do love the Versamark resist technique it was one of the first techniques that I learned when I started stamping and uh, I think it's just such fun to play with gives you such a lovely subtle effect and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so then I'd really love it if you'd hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you'd come back and see me again soon because I will be posting more videos. But for now, thank you very much for joining me and uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>